up guys welcome back to the Dell Futurist Community Cup for the second map I'm your host Captain Arya with me Kiran Shades here Nuji Bell and Nikhil SK Brutality what an intense first week match we had between these 10 cafe teams and 10 streamers Shade what do you think man completely unexpected we did expect team 18 and 19 to be the ones up top but surprise surprise but that being said though team number 11 wicked X's team i think completely deserved it yeah. straight up from the fact how they played the early stages perfect scout they knew exactly what they were doing they got to the compound where they had the best chance to win and they converted it yeah let's take a look at the scoreboard as we jump into game two in just a second we're going to be moving to sandhawk sk why don't you walk us through these later scores all right no surprises there. Uh, Wiki Rex leading the scoreboard with 240 points, but Rotti's then right up close and with like 225, and then Danny S with 220, Hydra with 210. And I think that's all because of the kills. Yeah, those top four guys are all very close in terms of like it's anybody's game. So it, Sanok again is gonna be a killing field. And then we see the rest of the top 10, which is GXG with 150 points, LXG1 with 145 points, Cosmic in 8th place with uh, 120 points, GameRex and Sick Warrior rounding off the top 10 with 110 and 95 points. So it's a good mix of cafe and influencer te uh, streamer teams right there. And then uh, Kiran, if you can walk us through the rest of the scoreboard. Yeah, we have RPs on 90 points, Roti2 on 80, Zone1 on 60 points, GG1 sitting on 50, Blitz sitting on 40 points, GG2 on 40, Zone Team 2 on 20 points, Robo sitting on 15, Roddy 3 on 5 points. That is how we line up the top 20 folks after that crazy first match. Let's jump into Sandhawk for the second map of the Dell Futurist Community Cup as day one comes to a close. Dell Futurist enables people to follow their passions for careers driven by technology, be it art, photography, filmmaking, app development and now esports and gaming this platform gives gamers across india a chance to make a name for themselves and start their esports journey sk shade take it away as we jump into sanhawk yeah i think this is pretty much the first time in india that we're getting to watch sanhawk being played comparatively and so i think that's pretty much the textbook out of the window it's going to be a fresh new for everybody uh, so we'll have to wait and see how some of these teams are going to play i don't expect there to be too many hot drops I expect them to just start slow loot away and then see how things go and what better start can we ask for than these two teams right now the top five which is team number 17 and team number 12 right these are our top five contenders and they have like you said you said oh they're gonna shy away from hot spots but hey they're in paradise yep. they are gonna sh they have to fight because i don't that see would them be hydra and danny s yep right? so hydra and danny s and they are in the top five so this is gonna be i don't know man it's gonna be a very tricky situation i i'd want them both to separate and then you know take the later fights but at the same time i'm excited to see which team comes on top here and we see danny s with a very aggressive push I'm not too surprised though that Hydra has gone towards Paradise. I think they were one of the teams who fought a lot early last time as well. What was it? Eight, nine kills yep. if I'm not mistaken in the early stages. So they're definitely uh, showing us that they're not too shy to take a fight early on. Yeah, and on the other end of the map, we've actually got Robo and one of the Gaming Grounds team right next to each other. Uh, so that's going to be an exciting matchup coming as Sunny Meister's team is picking up the kills in the distance. we got fights going on all over. Let's see if we can jump. I think the Paradise... Uh, fight has fizzled out as the two teams have separated. Yep. Uh, we're going to try and find some engagements for you in the meantime. Yep, squad number 11, I think that was with Z Gaming getting the kill early on. Robo, my man, is just winging it right now. He's managed to get two kills early on, 13 HP. And uh, you know, getting a lot of work done early. Yeah, he, he would have been disappointed uh, after that first matchup. Because, uh, you know, very poor position there by Robo's team as Void gets taken down. Rix is going to be coming in for the assist. He's going to find Sahil, but Noob is right in front. Rix has got that recoil on the AK. Perfectly mastered as he gets the kill and Robo's team survives, but they're a man down now. But four kills at this stage in the game, very good, I'd say. Yeah, yep. I think we can go back into the aerial look right now and see that... Everyone's pretty scattered except for 12 and 17, I think, and 19 and 8, who happens to be the closest in terms of, you know, fighting chances. But 70 kind of moved away. They don't want to take that fight. But the circle, right? Let's talk about the circle because it moved straight towards Paradise. 
move stay towards the northeast side of the map and there's going to be a lot of pushes coming in for this southern region right we've got frostpudge and his team we got oromloff and his team we got sunny meister here kind of split up and we have zone cafe kind of sneaking in between the first three pairs yeah, of look, sunny look, look at what's team, happening right? at quarry right now right as you mentioned there's a lot of people that's uh, one of the top contenders roti right that's yep, the that's main roti team and awm so that again top 10 contenders fighting but this is and then sunny who's played sunny sport can, yeah they can they can actually play spoil sport but sunny is alone his teammates are here and i think trigger's going to spot out nandy if i'm not mistaken if he comes out of this shack yeah trigger Let's you know with a few big opportunities last game uh, that could have made a huge difference to his team and i'm fairly certain trigger should have seen seen nandy right and there i think right? if we switch to first person mode yeah. we have a better <laughs> idea of what he no, can i have a feeling nandy saw uh, Yeah, I think Nandy spotted out Trigger, not yeah, the other way around. Yeah, they're coming back. They're There looking in. They know Six what's X, happening. Six X, a mutant suppressed, and an AK. So these guys have some pretty decent loot. Uh, Wiper XL with a, uh, he's got the QBU, and uh, we got Joker has actually taken a few shots, but he has no meds on him. So their med situation looks pretty bad. So they're gonna just have one first aid uh, that they have to share between the four of them. Yeah. 2x there with the silencer i don't see him taking a fight early on we saw how that panned out for many of the teams last time around but there is johnny walker like you just saw he has a 4x car 98 with a cheek pad so he's pretty decked and <laughs> going to move towards the solo zone cafe uh, person who just has a vector and a 4x not not the greatest combo but hey Let's see if this guy can make you know pick up a kill or two because he's lost Ashrock and Vacuum Ghost and he's going straight towards Wiper XL's team right now. Despite not too many teams dropping close to each other, looking at uh, the spread as well right now, there's quite a few teams who are all the way down south. And looking at the first circle, they're eventually gonna have to make their way through that quarry area. Oh, I think, I think they're about to hear zone. Uh, I think he just walked past them. They have some sort of idea something's happening. Then he's trying to figure out. Zone is just below the ridge there. Look at that. He's scoping in. He has no idea Zone's moved and Viper XL. He's moving forward a few more feet. He's going to see Zone. I think he's seen Zone. He's waiting for the gun. Oh, there we go. The big scope, or rather bigger scope comes out with the QBU and 2X. Not the ideal weapon, but he picks off the kill there with some help from Joker 007 as that's going to be the end of Zone Cafe's second team. Yep, Ashrock and Co end up biting the dust early on so as ex something that we did expect go moving into sanok a lot of fights early on and i do expect that to just increase quad yeah, ripple what's, what's interesting is you know there's n there was nobody initially at the north part of the map everyone's going to be moving in and we're going to see a lot of fights in and around the edge of the blue circle and that's going to make it way more exciting as this game progresses now here we've got uh, sunny's team moving in a little towards north towards i think lxg2 that's om that's your yeah. om squad and that's going to be a great engagement because i think these are two teams that would be uh, you know fairly even in terms of the fact that sunny's team just out of nowhere comes and plays spoil sport for teams that are supposed to do well they get kills uh, randomly here and there and that's going to actually ruin a lot of teams uh, hopes moving forward and with your team we've anyway seen yeah. a very strong position in the last match they're so in fact known for a lot of early fights but unfortunately and a lot of fights into in total but uh, that's what came to bite them in the rear the last time around i think it was viper excel who fired one single shot off immediately gives away the position of his entire squad they get wiped off uh, unfortunately this time he's just pretty much up against sunny meister and co let's see who comes out and on top and look what's happening actually the other squad viper excel seems to have moved done but we have ghostly boy and wikirex squad the number one squad right now after map number 1 closing in on the whole of sunny meister squad and these guys are out in the open trading their weapons and trading meds and uh, let's see if these guys are going to they have to push in right the circle is uh, that side uh, i want to see if uh, wiki or wades has the 3x on him i want to see if he can scope out members of uh, sunny's clan and in the distance yeah in the distance over here we've got uh, hydra picking off members of blitzone while they're getting shot at by another team in fact uh, we've got sick warrior squad on one side uh, and hydra on one and just red and ng left from blitz not the position they wanted to be in when they thought of a second map redemption yeah hydra again getting themselves involved early on into the map they managed to find to and uh, 
the rest of uh, the members of uh, Blitz team number five yeah. gonna be uh, limping 3X, away. 3X QBZ, 140 ammo. That's pretty much everything Corsera needs at this point uh, to end this match for a Blitz zone early on. Yep, Dredrek, I think he gets spotted there. Nigu also gonna be looking to uh, make his way in. I I think Amit has an idea of where he's the second player is. Yes, he does. And he manages to even land a couple of shots in. And oh, they're, they're trying to like alternate peek him, but they're not getting that timing down. Not enough coordination there. Uh, Dread, I think, almost gets a few shots off, but takes a few himself. I love the new hit markers in the, the spectator yeah. board. Now we can see exactly how much damage has been done. Uh, so I'm glad to see PUBG Esports progressing in a way that makes it easier for spectators. And of course, players getting a chance to make a name for themselves with the Dell Futurist Community Cup on starting their esports journey through streamers and cafes. And this is as close as we're gonna get because the whole of Sunny's squad is around a shack. And we see Ghostly Boy trying to scout them out with a 4X, but he's gonna move. They seem like they have no sights on them. They have scopes, but they don't really have sights, except for Wiki who has a red dot on his AK. Like map doesn't have doesn't have a sight. They have like Good loot, but uh, poor trigger. No he's just looking that. the wrong way. He just needs to look a little to the left, and he will have spotted uh, the other team there. Yep, I, yeah, think I think he's on the wrong. He just they've, they've, they're long gone right now because uh, this. I want to see this fight. I want to see where this fight was going to end up, but <laughs> unfortunate, trigger didn't spot. But he does. They already have three kills, which is I think uh, they picked off Zone Cafe's members early on into the game, and then we see Flash the Alpha in the distance running over his teammate, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that is an unfortunate situation there. Also, we see Dredrek getting cleaned up uh, from team number five. That's pretty much going to leave NGU. And then we're going to swap back to Sate right now, who spots out z -Fears, but he was on a moped. And then he's going to spot out uh, the other members from Zone Cafe. going to spray, but... Ah, uh, not the not the cleanest of sprays. Yeah, they got uh, they got away pretty much unscathed. Yeah, but they're gonna hold the compound, which is is actually more valuable because this is one of the compounds that everyone's gonna rush towards. Uh, trying to look for kills, but again, uh, 17 teams alive, 62 members. So yeah. it's actually gonna be is they're gonna be fine. Yeah, they just need about a five six kill uh, and a win. And yeah, if I we quickly turn to the map, yeah, you know, Cosmic's team has uh, found themselves a nice little mountain up top. Uh, north where nobody is going. Apologies for that. Uh, so they are completely isolated. They're going to make a few circles safe. But uh, SK, I suggest if we switch down to Robo Squad, they're going to be coming out of the blue towards Squad 10. That's uh, Gaming Grounds' second squad and one of the Zone squads. So those uh, Zone's first squad is going to be one to keep an eye out for. And they're six and seven, very close to each other as well. Lee Diablo slowly moving in. Karaklaunda spots the player out. But. Uh, Pretty much trigger discipline coming in there on the other side of the hill there. And uh, yeah, let's, let's switch to Robo and Co. Yeah, Robo is going to actually walk straight in. And he's, I don't think he has, yeah, he doesn't have any um, painkillers as such. Oh, no, he does. Okay, he does have energy drinks on him. But it's not showing up. Okay, so <laughs> Robo is actually very close right now. He's super close to squad number 10, which is uh, GG. And oh my god, is he going to spot them out? No, he's not. He's looking the wrong way. There's a guy standing on the roof, Robo. Look. Nope, he's not going to look. They're right next to each other. Here we've got Sunny Squad actually moving in towards Squad 11. Wiki Rex. These guys came up huge last time around. Sunny with the first trade. He gets two of them down. This is big for his team. Can he get them? They've already got some kills from Zone, but Sunny gets taken down as it is a 2v4 dynamic jar. Very low on HP as well as it comes down to him and Arconix. Arconix. Now, this guy's a great guy to play with, but I do not think he's a clutch situation player. And Ghostly Boy there got a lot of work on his shoulders. Trigger his drop down. You can see his teammate squealing away. Help me. But he's not going to be able to use Arconic. Slowly moving away. See, locked out. Nope. Don't think that's the situation. Might just be the case. But what a time though. It's unfortunate if that's the case. Yeah, let's turn back to Ghostly Boy and see what's happening. Uh, I think Nade's going to come out. No. He got Sunny Meister down and he will eventually get taken down. MAB cleaning up. And uh, Arconix happens to be the last member just stuck yeah. in the shack in the distance. He's, I think they're going to play for score. Yeah, no, I, th I think he's just like lag out strafing at this point, if I'm not mistaken. Because he's been doing that for a while and he's maintained his same trajectory. Unless he's just styling away, just dabbing away from that fight. Like, nope, I'm going to take this fight another day. 
But uh, I'm a ghostly boy. Does survive now. Uh, right. Finally, grab the sight. <laughs> yeah, let's put it that way. All right. Let's check back at Robo. Let's see what's happening. Yeah, next. very dangerous situation here for him. He's uh, moving towards zone. Then we've got Rotty squad right above zone. So they've got high ground. And then on the right side, we've got uh, the last cafe team uh, from GG, GG2. Uh, so Robo's team very very poor positioning. Richter gets taken down there by fear from zone as I mentioned. And wow, Cosmic's team with a full four man wipe there. I think they blew up the car. Uh, no, or it, boat. Was, it was actually a boat. No, no, they didn't. They came from the boat and then they pushed the compound, which is one of Rotti's dense team. And uh, Cosmic ended up getting traded, but luckily, you know, he had some cover under the staircase and they didn't uh, finish him and. Uh, you know, his member just picked up four kills amongst the two of them. So Uchit and Cosmic dropped down very early and the other two members just clutched it. Unfortunate there for uh, Rotti Team 3. Yeah. They, yeah, they didn't have a very good position in the previous match as well. I think it was last and now uh, they're going to end up, I think, Team number 16 here. That being said, the circle will start to close in Team 1. 17 5. They're all just so close to each other. NGU manages to find one, cleans up on Flash as well. Quick kills coming in. The rest of his team, it's too far away. And, well, at least they know they're not going to be going down south. They're going to evade that move in. But there is a compound being held by Hydra and Co. there. So it's going to be tricky to see how Team 1 manages to get themselves in. Long range fights coming in as well. I think it's team number. 14 in RPs. Yeah, they're just fighting across the road from each other. Uh, so we got ARPs and uh, we got as well uh, Google X Gods. So the two streamer teams uh, just taking pot shots at each other from across the road. Uh, it would be interesting if somebody comes into the middle of these two and then we're going to have a crazy Mexican standoff and someone's going to be very disappointed. Endeavor misses that shot off on ARPs' hand. He would have been hoping to try and make that connect. Add three more teams to that, and that is pretty much a wrangle for you the last time around. As uh, that being said, though, uh, we do see uh, Zendeva there got a little unlucky the last time. I know this was Rotti who did manage to catch him isolated from the rest of his teammates and clean them up early on. And uh, Google X got and Co couldn't really recover yeah. back to victory. Let's, let's quickly that. switch to zone one. They're actually moving in right behind Rotti's team, who have no idea they're being stalked. I'm not sure if zone even knows they're going towards them. I think FG got would have seen an SK. Yeah, he spotted all three of them, but he doesn't want to take a shot. So, but he doesn't know Sate's actually close. Oh, Sate's actually expected. shooting at Arconix's AFK body. And that would have actually confirmed for, uh, you know, the zone guys that something's here. And Rotti's Den, they think it's a full team they're fighting. Yes. And, yeah, oh, Arconix is back in the fight. Yep, he's back in the fight and, and he, he will done. eventually <laughs> go down to set there. So, it's kind of an anticlimactic end to Sunny Meister's team there, especially after being so promising early on. That being said, though, we do have uh, the rest of Zone One. I think that's Mudkip moving in. Yeah, it is uh, Zone One's team, and they actually didn't take the fight. I'm surprised. They heard all that gunfire. Uh, yeah, but I mean, look at what's happening here. Rotti's Den is moving towards Wikirex and Danny S. These are all top five teams right here. In fact, I think that would be top three. All the top three. Uh, they're going to be facing each other. <laughs> Wikirex, he's going to take pop shots from this is from Seth as Karak Londa goes down. Uh, it's not looking good for Wikirex's team. Yeah, a couple of people taking in quite a bit of damage. Seth, long range, he does have that silencer on him. Karak Londa, not sure. Yeah, he did get knocked down there initially. So that is uh, one player on the side of Rotti. One's team down for the count. Can they get back to recover? Smoke's going down. Yeah, Seth should be able to safely make it back. I think they do know where he's playing oh, from. A couple of players trying to jiggle they, they peek need, They need the smoke cover for the revive. Otherwise, it's a very, very tricky situation for Karak Londa and Seth. Uh, but it looks like the clutch revive is going to come out as Anon Panda is going to be providing some suppressing fire rescue. What do you think Wikirex's squad is up to right now? They are going to push in straight into uh, Danny S's squad, right? So this is the top three contenders from map one that are going to push into Paradise. But I see Danny S's squad in the distance actually exiting Paradise. They held it for about uh, three phases and they seem to have just let go now and they're going to push out towards the hill in front of them. So the way I see it, Wikirex is still safe. Uh, I mean, uh, what do you say? 
Rotti's then again, they got the rest, so they're still safe. So the top five guys is still not in any kind of like, you know, crazy engagements right now. But in the distance, we see z uh, taking off, taking down one of, I think that was... That was uh, one of the players from Zone 1. Yeah. Zone 1, so, yeah. Zone one. So we're here on Nomad, folks. Uh, they've been stalked by LXG2, the Om squad, but they've got the two knocks as Zone Boys are going to be able to move away while they're dealing with their down teammates. Now, with 13 seconds left for the Blue Circle closing in, this is a very precarious situation as there's Robo, Rotti's Den, Zone and uh, LXG all in the same fight within a few feet of each other. No. Normad is going to get caught in the blue zone. It's not going to be a nice situation for him. He goes on the blue, but will somebody from Rotti pick up the kill? And they clean up house. Yep, and they're in the middle of all of this, Robo all alone there, still taking the fight. And I think, yeah, eventually he decides, nope, it's just too hot to head towards south. He's going to try and evade this entire fight between team number two and team number six. LXG versus Rotti's then going at it just at the edge of the circle. Yep, here uh, we're going to move north in just a little bit. We've got uh, ARP squad moving in towards Sith Warrior and Cosmic YT. We've got long range firefights happening across the hill. Hades has spotted somebody out. He's got the 3x, but he's also going to see Cosmic's team members inside that house as uh, HK is not going to be in a good position. He's getting tagged from two different people. And in the distance, we see uh, Accelerates, uh, I mean, sorry, Danny S squad knocking down three members of uh, Ghosty Boy, which is uh, Wikidex's squad, and I think they're gonna get cleared down, because these are four big snipers right now. And team number six, Rotti steps up huge there. That's gonna be Wiki Rex down for the count. The big boys are going down one by one. Brutality. That's a huge play because that's the winners from last time around already out at 13th position. So they're going to lose out in a lot of points to the others. Indeed, man. And uh, I think if I'm not mistaken, it's a total of eight rounds here in the uh, Dell Futurist yep. Community Cup. Yep, so we're going to be playing two matches a day. So today we got Irangal Sanok, tomorrow Miramar Sanok. And then next Saturday, we're back to Irangal Sanok and Sunday Miramar Sanok again. So it's actually a real battle of attrition and patience, how teams can improve over the week, work on their game and start taking esports seriously as a career, which is what Dell Futurist looks to enable. Yep. And uh, if we're going to be playing a wrangle a couple of times, Miramar a couple of times, Sanok a grand total of four times. So this is a lot of information for some of these things. That being said though, and shots we're, coming We're in. looking at a completely new you know, camera angle right now. <laughs> Hades picking up Wait, one sec. So if you don't mind, distance. I actually want to switch to Bates Gaming. He's right behind all of Rotti's squad. They're going right past oh, him. Oh. They have no idea. Look at what is happening here. I don't think Bates himself knows what is going on. Wikirex is last surviving member. So Wikirex is not fully out. Can he pick up and get the kill on Rotti and say this would be huge, but he's just trying to play for position because squad two from LXG is right above there. He's trying to take pot shots at them, not really connecting. Nandy. So much trigger discipline from Wade. Oh, he gets picked off there by Viper. He could have done so much, gotten an extra 10, 15 points, but alas, it wasn't to be. Man, we had that third person perspective there. I'm not sure. He had the Wade's, same information. Yeah, I'm not sure if Wade uh, spotted all the players out, but he definitely knew there were a lot of bodies around there. But he decides to play patient because we know every single position counts so much here towards the end. More shots coming in. Team number 18 does get the kill on one of the players of That's GG2. Google X God, yeah. Yeah. So we got seven teams, 24 members alive at this point, folks. And there's the circle as well. Pretty much everyone is, I think, edge camping right yeah, now. Yeah, nobody wants to go in the middle because they know the circle's going to move. And if they're caught running out from the middle to any of the sides, that's going to be a tough, tough spot for them. We got a gunfight happening here. Squad 18, squad 10. Squad 14 there getting one kill. Sequario, meanwhile, does get the knock and eventually the kill onto TSK Dora from LXG. And he's not done just yet. Lawrence and K14 with the 6x. And this the problem is, we're at a circle which is going to start hurting now. Right, phase 4 is ending. Anybody else caught out in the circle is going to be in trouble after this. And team number 14, I think they are coming in from the top of the hill there. Sequario and Co. Need to be careful, they do have Kakashi looking in towards, in that general direction. Uh, squad number 10, that is GG2, are about to be in a world of trouble here as squad number 18, Google X God, Oromolov and Co. slowly but surely begin to converge. 
Yep, let's watch what squad 18 does in response to that squad 14 now pinning them down. RP is actually taking down a taking a lot of pot shots. Gets what's about 100 hit points on three different targets right there, but 3x, not much. Do you think the 4x there. would have helped? Yeah, the 4x would have definitely helped. But then we see them walking straight towards GG squad on top, and Elo takes down uh, Oromla. Yep, the hunters become the hunted there. All thanks to one single player there, RP is just doing so much damage. Oh, but a place goes down. The moment I switched to plays, he ended up going down. Then we see Hades plays now gonna take a bunch of shots towards Google X God's team and they're actually stuck in a very difficult situation because <clears throat> smokes and uphill battle. Yep, they're gonna drop the smokes, but they do have team number two, LXG, waiting on the other side. Yeah, look at 90. Input. 90 here, he's no, he's got exactly the correct position locked down here. They cannot move towards him, because if they do, they're gonna be walking into a 3x QBZ, and that's not gonna be good for anybody. As Sadie Boy takes out squad number one, LXG's first team goes out at sixth. 90, he is going to try and make this scout. He's got a compensator 3x, but he's falling back to the rest of his teammates who now know that squad 18 is moving from there. These are four kills for the taking. I think Oromla spots out Johnny Walker at the, at the rock, right in front of him, takes about three mutant hits on him, connects only one of them. Gonna quickly heal up, because again, the zone just keeps pushing in Sanok. Oh, Viper XL finally finds Endeavor, but gets traded out there by... Uh, by who? I think that was backtrack yeah, there backtrack. and he's still taking in a lot of damage here. Nandi Tay ends up going down and that is gonna be the LXG squad number two eliminated from the server. And, Team number and that's kind of surprising because they have the better position. The, yep, now they we see Scorch right here taking down Sick Warrior right out in the open from the shack. That's gonna be a big hit for Sick Warrior's team. And then we see Hades spots out Kakashi. Yep, Kakashi trying to throw some Nades down to cover their push, but this is again a disappointing game from Sick Warriors team. They've got a good position, you know, they're at least fourth, but just the two kills. They're gonna need a lot more than that to make up. Aditya's already found himself a little hurt as Kakashi moves towards him. He's gonna start getting hit from behind, and Kakashi goes down there by Hades, but Captain Pawn's there with the trade in. And now it is all up to Aditya to provide some support for Captain Pons because he's in a bad position. He goes down as well. And this is not looking good for Sick Warrior Squad. Yep, the smokes go down. RP is there. Knew exactly where both the players were playing from. And uh, will be looking to get that revival. Should be able to do that successfully. But talking about the previous fighters, like you said, they had the better position there. LXG, you expected them to come out on top, having gotten the first scout as well. But unfortunately, it was better plays coming in there, I think, from And look at team. this. Once again, in the top four, Danny S's team kills spread out all around. This is a team that's really come together very well. Indeed, Adi. I think it's taking a little bit of damage there. Sadie Boy, long range. There's still one player knocked in. I think that was Kakashi, who's down from the side of uh, Team 19, Sick Warrior. Backtrack. Looking for a fight of his yeah, own. Yeah, Danny he, S. he spotted out Danny S. Uh, but, you know, they don't know that Squad 14 is pushing up from right behind them. Uh, if we can quickly turn to Squad 14. Meanwhile, Axelin does get the knock onto Oromolov and the cleanup coming in from Scourge. So, squad number 14 is not done just yet. Endeavor landing in a shot, but he's given away his position. He's still taking shots. 14 HP and Darkfield. Can he take it for a stain? Should be able to do so. Yep, Backtrack coming in with another kill there, or at least knock. As Backtrack finally goes down to Hades from squad 14. What's happening there, SK? Who's got the upper advantage, upper hand in this engagement? I think Hades knows where the last person is. It's Google X card, and he's gonna just keep tapping away at that tree till his team pushes up on the right side. Again, 38 hit points, and Axelin's gonna actually take advantage of this. This is a really smart play by Hades. He's continuously taking shots at the tree, so Google X card cannot move, and then there you go. Finally gets taken down by RPs. Good push from them, but they have no idea what's gonna happen next because. Danny S has a really good shot at that hill, and we see XRA doing a similar. Oh, Roy gets oh, taken Roy down taken by down. Adi. Beautiful shot there. Just the two of them, so they're gonna have to play smart. They're gonna take their uh, picks, and Adi gets Sadie Boy as well. They have no idea what is happening right now, as the CS Pro is coming up huge. 
Yep. In PUBG. M242 not coming in. Meanwhile, Accelerate is going to work as well. Hades ends up going down for Team 14. RPS and Co. have had such a wonderful game since the start, but they're slowly but surely coming. Three teams up. Danny S goes down to Kakashi. Long straight on Adi. Thought the player out gets the knock on to Sadi Boy. He wants more. Thought the player out the kill. I think. Did he get the register? I don't think he did. That turns around. Spot on Accelerate. It's the battle of the peak. He will go down. Oh no. Accelerate comes up big on that fight. Yeah, but here's the thing. It is 4v1. Uh, 3v1, sorry, because his teammates are all down. They know where he is. It's a very bad position to be reviving because if they push up just a little bit, they're going to see exactly where he is. He's got 7 seconds. I do not think he has that long. I think there's the incendiary going down there, Danny. Should be able to get back up two teams alive. 3v2, if I'm not mistaken here. Should be the advantage going to team 14 here as uh, RPs. Looking for the reposition back, Team 12. They will eventually have to move out and into the circle straight into the arms of 14. So they do have the positional advantage here, SK. Yeah, I think this is Team 14's game. Because uh, the way I see it, Danny S. But they do have an M24 and a Car 98. So two lucky shots and they can turn that 2v4 scenario into a 2v2. And they're going to do a complete wraparound under the eyes of RPs, who's not going to spot them at all. Oh, Scourge has spotted them. Danny has starts getting shot down to 28 points of health. And they are now stuck behind the rock as all of Squad 14 knows exactly where they are. Accelerate. It's all going to come down to him. He's got to carry this team forward as Danny S is very, very low on HP. Both of them with snipers. Is this the right move? Yep, oh, RPs beautiful. is going to go for Pick the flag right now. I don't, I don't think they expect RPs to 2v2. fly. 2v2. RPs moving up. Accelerate gets caught out. As Danny S goes down, can accelerate, it's down to a 1v1. He doesn't know where Scourge is. He saw Scourge move, but he needs to heal up. The circle is moving, 90 seconds. Phase 7, folks, 1v1. This is what it comes down to. The second map of day one of the Dell, Commun Dell Futurist Community Cup. Yep, he spots out Scourge there. He will go for the cleanup. Scourge already having hit the deck, nades on the ready. Scourge. Oh, oh, oh the nade does so much damage. How is he still at 1 HP? Is what it is. Accelerate. Can he spot him in the grass there? Cool as a cucumber. Is just going to try and stick it out. No, not enough there as Accelerate will be able to clean house. Team number 12, Danny S and Co. Take the chicken dinner. With 14 kills. That's a big, big kill haul for them. Coming into this round two, sending a message. They couldn't quite close out last time but you know they answered back with a big win and accelerate clean just just clean push knew what was gonna happen i mean it was a good trade he traded uh, danny in for like two different targets right he got yep. the m24 hit and then as well as uh, getting uh, ops down i was that was actually unfortunate i expected ops to like get him off because it's a groza versus an m4 you would favor the Groza in every single scenario, but... I mean, he just about survived just the engagement. It was a pixel, yeah. right? That was a you good You know, Skurd speed. should have been a bit more aware of the situation, tossed an Aiden, been aggressive because... I think he should have been more proactive. It, I, like I said, it was it's all down to those snipers. The moment I realized, hey, they had an M24 and a Car 98, I was like, this is an easy turnaround for them if they get those shots. And, you know, Accelerate came, came clutch right there, secures the win for him. Unfortunate for RPs. But hey, second place with about seven kills is, is still a good haul. And Sick Warrior finally in the top three, right? Uh, they, he got kind of killed in a very weird scenario. Yeah, didn't just got picked someone. off outside. Yeah, he was, didn't expect the guy to be in a shack in the in outside the zone, which is very weird. And then, what, that was five kills for them because Adi got those two hits. Four kills. Four kills? Yeah. yeah, four kills for them. And we got Backtrack Endeavor, Google X card with uh, about, what, seven? And yeah, that's seven kills. And LXG again in the top five. So you, sh you should be quite happy, Kiran. I mean, and solid with kills performance. this time, yeah. you know, with yeah. kills seven well. kills. Yep, and we have the other LXG squad in uh, team in sixth position as well. No kills this time around, but they do get a good position nonetheless. And then we have GG2 in uh, position uh, seven there. Position eight, Wiki Rex, the winner of uh, the first map on Erangel. This time around, they're only going to be able to master five kills in position eight. So that is going to allow so many other teams who are in the middle of the pack that opportunity to get back into the thick of things. Position number nine, we have Rotti's team. Again, I think they're going to be disappointed with this. Very disappointed. In fact, both those teams there. At the top three, if I'm not mistaken, yep. from Erangel. This time they find themselves in the middle of the pack. 
tenth comes cosmic whitey again I, I was just surprised actually you know vades from wikidex didn't clean up rotti's squad because he was right behind them he watched five kills i think or he, like three different knock uh, people he, and then he, he could have gotten and, up yeah. and picked Spread off three down. kills you know, that's, the, that's the downside of having a 3x in like a five meter range <laughs> and then we have hydra see that's what i said these squads right eight nine and eleven they were all top three Mm. So there's going to be a big shift in the scoreboard. Obviously, Danny S is going to be probably up there with about a 200 or 300 point difference. But these three guys are going to probably drop down and someone else, maybe, uh, I don't know if it's Sequario, but I think Apis has a good chance. He yep, was also definitely. somewhere in the top 10. So we're going to see a big scoreboard switch. And we're going to end off uh, top 20 with Robo in 12th. We yeah, got shout out to Robo, in fact. I think he did a fabulous job. He lost a couple of teammates early on. Yeah. And he just managed to survive all alone yeah. and uh, get them get his squad over to position number 12. Yeah. So, you know, great stuff there by all the teams. Uh, it's great to see a lot of the cafe teams really stepping up, you know, because the streamers and their teams, they've been playing for a while in various events online. But, you know, the Del Futurist Community Cup gave a huge opportunity to players from cafes around the country. And these five cafes have put together 10 teams in a very, very short time. And they've actually come up huge, especially LXG. Uh, Zone has done very well as yeah. well from Kolkata. And we expect to see a lot from these guys over the next few days. We've got another set of games tomorrow. Tomorrow the action moves to Miramar and then once more San Hawk. And then after that, we're going to take a week break while the teams prepare once again. And we go to Irangal and Miramar yeah. once again. What are your early bets? See, Miramar is completely different, right? Irangal, a lot of us, there's like people clocking 800,000 hours amongst these players. But Miramar usually is one of those maps where you just dodge. The <laughs> moment you see Miramar load and you're like, nah, I don't want to play this. And it's a very tricky terrain. I personally love uh, it, but yeah. yeah, most people just avoid playing Miramar. Yeah. So. Because the loot is all concentrated in these big cities and big cities mean lower FPS and mm -hmm. people are like competitive mode. We really don't want to go to these situations and then get stuck there. Uh, but at the same time, the terrain is what it is, right? These, these massive mountains where, you know, you think you're safe, but then there's another and squad up there already. And we've seen a lot of airdrop hunting and that's going to play a huge role in Miramar because if someone picks up the big snipers. Then the thing with Irangal versus Miramar is Irangal doesn't have those uh, terrain shifts where, you know, when you're going into a compound or we're going to a, when you're driving around, there's not many bumps. But mm -hmm. Miramar, the oh. panic sets in the moment you get shot, right? I've seen a bunch of these tournaments where the moment you get shot, they're like, hey, I'm going to turn the other way, hit a ridge, boom. Done. Yeah, Whole yeah. squad wipe. I've seen that happen. And the airdrops, right? Mm -hmm. I want to see more teams go towards the airdrops. I think we only saw two teams today actively in both maps. There was uh, Wikirex's team which went for both the airdrops and then uh, Sick Warrior went for the MK14. And I think but Cosmic's team also had their about, pressure. Yeah, there's yeah. about six airdrops and I want these teams to go in and, uh, you know, pick these airdrops, get these fights. And also, if you notice the middle of the map, right? The whole of the Sanok map, nobody was in the middle. Yeah. Right? Till the Everyone last push the where Adi came in and he got those kills. But the whole time, the whole 30 minutes, there was not a single team that was centered. Which is kind of odd because you want to be in the middle in these rounds because everyone's going to push in eventually. I get it, esports mode, you, the you drastic, don't know where the yeah, circles, the circles gonna are going to shift. But nobody was in the middle. Everyone just played the edge and uh, I feel like, you know, it's, Team should read these two maps, go watch, go prepare, because they played a very similar style. Mm -hmm. Now, if that happens tomorrow, well, hey, if you're in the middle of that circle, you're going to be at an advantage. What I personally loved is how across the two separate maps, we saw different teams doing well. It wasn't yeah. the same teams. Yeah. Right, and that's going to be huge going into Miramar because that's another shift. And then back to Sanhok again. So you're going to have, yeah. uh, you know, different teams. That, you know what? Let's not worry about Miramar because we know we can do well on Sanhok. So map two, day two, we'll try our best. But uh, it's going to be very exciting because everything's just going to keep changing every single day. Where, where's your money at, Shade? Uh, I expect it to be a Home lot. Team. Uh, yeah, that's where my heart is. But I expect overall the gameplay to be exactly like what we saw today. A mm -hmm. lot of fast-paced action early on. Uh, a little slower middle game mm -hmm. and a lot of action later on as well. Uh, that being said though, uh, I do expect it to change a lot moving into week number two. Mm -hmm. That is when some of these teams are going to be their backs. A lot of teams would have learned. Yeah, they would have, they'll have a lot of uh, information about the other teams so as to where they're going to be playing from, what is their play style. Also the fact that their backs are going to be against the wall mm -hmm. for some of these teams they have to perform who now. have to go for those skills, not only the position. Yeah. So that's going to again change because you know, a team, a set of players who do or die, 
that's a scary team to yeah. go up against. So, uh, and we've yep. seen that in previous tournaments, you know, people really stepping it up when it matters. And what's exciting is it's not just pride at stake here, right? There's an awesome prize from Dell, a full set of accessories for the winners, backpacks for the runner-ups, and the winners are going to get a special one-on-one -on -one mentoring session with Team Brutality. You know, they're one of the most popular esports uh, teams around India. Everyone looks up to them. It's a huge opportunity, especially if you're exploring gaming, streaming, or esports as a career, as Dell Futurist is looking to help nurture across the country. That's a big, big plus yep. to get to talk to these pros. And I think another big opportunity that isn't as easily available is the fact that such tournaments provide the platform for some unknown players mm -hmm. to get recognized as well. PUBG community is an up and growing community in India. A lot of tournaments coming up. Some of these players, this is their opportunity to shine and you never really know, maybe a, a top team just picks them up and that's where their esports journey begins, yep. probably right here, right today. Yep, guys, exciting stuff. This is the end of day one of the Dell Futurist Community Cup. I'm your host, Cap Nare, with me, Kiran Shades, Anujibal and Nikhil SK Brutality. We'll be back tomorrow afternoon once again with the second set of games. I do have one question. What's your uh, pick for tomorrow? One What's team? my pick? One Oof. team. Before we um, end, I want to like, you know, just out of the list that we have, one team that you think... Hydra. Uh, Hydra? Hydra. So you're going with Hydra? Because it is Miramar, right? Yeah. We, we don't know what how they're going to play on Miramar. I don't think we know anybody who's going to play well One of on your Miramar. home teams, I'm guessing? Uh, no, I'm actually uh, say going to say Cosmic Whitey and Co. I think these guys have had They're just like very quietly moving around. Yeah, they've had their moments initially, but haven't really been able to transition over okay. that threshold. Mm -hmm. I think th just that one single step there and you could easily see them in the top three. Yeah. What about you? I'm going to go with Wikirex. Because mm -hmm. that's a very strong two games. I mean, yes, the second game they did bad, but their first game positioning, right, on a bigger map, they played very smart. Uh, the rest of the teams were very panicky. They were all like rushing in, doing random stuff, trying to hold compounds, but they took the we time. saw what Ghostly Boy did. That, I think props to Ghostly Boy for being, I think, one of the best scouts, because he went to three different compounds, didn't get shot once, got the damn like compound secured, and then mm -hmm. got his team moved in. And that's what secured them that first win. So in, in Miramar, if you have that same ability and you can lock down these compounds on higher ground, that's going to play a big part compared to the aggressive and, teams that and, you guys picked. And let's not forget Danny S. I think he's going to be around the top three throughout because so, he did well in yeah, both games. Both games they did well. Uh, again, I'd like to see them on, on a more DMR focus because they missed a lot of shots yeah. in between, right? With I mean, that 3x, 4x, all, they're just not connecting. Yeah. But yeah, and also utility. They were very low on utility. Mm -hmm. Unless we missed that, you know, they used probably eight or ten grenades. Even in their last circle, they were very low on utility. Yeah. So they, they have a lot of ammunition and meds and stuff, but the utility game was. They could have saved a couple of members as well. So, okay, so you said. Uh, Hydra. Hydra. Hail Hydra. Cosmic. Cosmic and I said Wikirex. So, Danny S is going to be. And Danny S is all the fish. <laughs> Danny so, S with all the up. Yeah, lots of exciting stuff, guys. We're going to be back tomorrow afternoon once again on the Alienware India Facebook page, on the NVIDIA GeForce India Facebook page, and the Gamer Connect Facebook page for the second day of the Dell Futurist Community Cup. Do tune in as the 10 best streamer teams and 10 teams from the top five cafes in India head-to-head -head face off for the second set of maps. Thank you for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.